For the next month or two, Big Becky is expected to complete its drilling for the Niagara Tunnel. And clearly, no one expected the McGinty government to get this project done on time or on budget, or we would have been standing here patiently since 2009. The sad reality is, Big Becky is already $615 million over budget in five years. Past due. As a strong supporter of hydroelectric power, I'm pleased that Niagara, Ontario's capital for hydro, is going to provide more Ontario families and businesses with energy. But while a PC government identified Big Becky project as a priority, the McGinty Liberals have turned it to another boondoggle. The Big Becky boondoggle is a story of mismanagement and waste by the McGinty government. And Ontario families are going to foot the bill for Dalton McGinty's mismanagement for the skyrocketing hydro bills. Because of the Big Becky boondoggle, each Ontario family is now going to pay $137 more than they should be. And of course, this isn't the only example of Dalton McGinty's mismanagement. Big Becky is just the latest Dalton McGinty boondoggle. As we saw with their billion-dollar e-health boondoggle, this government is incapable of being on time and on budget and is costing families money. As our hydro bills soar, Ontario families are wondering why. While you may think the answer is right here behind you with the Big Becky program, the main reason is sitting in a corner office in Queen's Park. Dalton McGinty has made an expensive mess of our hydro system. And families are stuck with the bill. From his sweetheart $7 billion secret deal with Samsung to build massive solar and wind farms, 